uh, today we're gonna see uh, Rido against uh, Grand Monster for uh, the Wubli Champions League. I'm uh, really happy to to contribute to this one too. Uh, I'm pretty excited to start and uh, just give me a second because I had a little bit of a problem to set up the stream today. A busy day, busy day. Okay, everything should be fine. Uh, let me uh, check really quick if uh, everything is fine. I hope it is. Okay, it should be good. So, uh, okay. And we are gonna see Grand Monster a redo. So uh, let me check real quick and be right back. The first map will be Anatolia and will be Isis for Rido and uh, Grand Monster will be playing as four. So I'm really sorry guys, the first game will be like this, uh, I'm deeply sorry, uh, so I will fix it uh, by next uh, game, it's like uh, my game is going on window, and I'm deeply sorry about this, okay, I'm really sorry for uh, anyone that's seeing it right now like this. So Grand Monster has now five on wood. He's gone. He's he has gone to the bottom side of the water. Rido has gone on the upper side. So um, okay. Um, LTA. Okay. So right now. Rido uh, doesn't have any gold to spam any more dogs. He has two dogs. Now he's going uh, only to food, not to gold. Um, you see why he hasn't gone to gold yet. Uh, next game, I will fix it. Next game uh, for anyone that's uh, now in the chat and doesn't know uh, about what's happening. Uh, we have a three minute delay, so I will check your messages right after the game. And uh, I hope uh, in the second game won't, uh, this won't happen, the second game, I promise. And even, uh, and even if, if uh, this is okay. Yeah, it's three minute delay. So by the time you see that uh, streaming delay, uh, so Grand Monster tried to go uh, on the top side, but uh, Redo didn't let him to go there. Uh, so again, guys, I'm really, really, really sorry about uh, this first game being uh, like this. I don't even know if sound is on. Should be. Uh, I have sound on, but if any problems, because now I have a new setup, if any problems uh, are there, uh, I will fix them by the second game. So 
it's really just the first game that's like this and I'm deeply sorry. Uh, I'm, I really am. So, as of right now, uh, Ridu doesn't uh, have a temple. He will have it in a little bit. Grand Monster already going uh, his temple up. 500 uh, hit points up and uh, Ridu will he denies even the second dog that uh, the Grand Monster tried to do on uh, on the, the top side and now he's going back on the first dog to build the first dog back uh, and the, on the top side of the map Ridu is going for the bottom side and uh, as of right now Ridu will spot this and this Krellink, oh my, okay, he found him and now this is a little bit of a problem from Grand Monster because right now he doesn't have uh, any uh, way to go to the top side because he's Krellink, he's really at 7 hit points, 1 hit from the villager and Ridu is having a is doing a good job not letting him uh, go to the top side. He's and they are particularly close advancing to the next stage. Uh, <laughs> hey Nulus, uh, sorry guys for the for the stream. It's uh, uh, it's for some reason it's windowed. Uh, it's probably the new setup settings, and I'm deeply sorry about this. I will uh <laughs> I will <laughs> I will change it <laughs> by the end of the game. Deeply sorry. So uh 449 advance for uh, Grand Monster and 446 for Rido. Uh he will go past. Uh I mean as I says, I think he has the advantage he's also spamming dogs on the bottom side uh as Grand Monster is doing right now. He has right now he has three and uh, Ridu has already four, so I'm expecting him to just go, uh, just go for a uh, uh, heroic right away, and he does. I see now his armory that he will probably go up. Uh, soon and he will probably go for an 8 minute advance or so but Grand Monster is going for a second town center I mean he should expect a fast heroic from an Isis player like uh, Ridu um, yeah right now Ridu is getting another dog up on the on the top side of the water and uh, he has the control and he has 18 fishing ships on the top side, on the bottom side, they have split the water right now, and uh, Grand Monster is having just a longboat to harass, and uh, Riddle probably will have the resources to advance uh, really soon. He's right now at 200 food, and uh, Grand Monster. Doesn't ha has pickaxe and hand axe. Ridu uh, has hand axe and pickaxe also. He now casts uh, prosperity, so he will gather uh, gold a little bit faster. So this gold mine probably will expire by the end of uh, the end of uh, prosperity. And the 728 uh, heroic time is not that bad. I mean. Uh, Grand Monster is getting his uh, a base set up uh, on the front that probably will be sieged by the time uh, Ridu makes his siege workshop and uh, the MGTOL. Uh, thanks for the follow, Nulus. <laughs> yeah, uh, sorry, sorry about the, uh, <laughs> thanks for the follow news and sorry about, again, about the, um, uh, the, the quality, the windowed quality, I will change it by, uh, next game. Uh, we see that, uh, Grand Monster 
tr uh, start to go as scaddy, but he changed it to braggy. Uh, let's see how, how this will play out for him. And uh, the Migdal is going up for uh, Ridu on this town center. Probably will. Uh, he's securing this. He will try to secure this gold mine, I think. And probably will get this town center. I mean, I mean, as of right now, he does have the resources even to go mythic in about a minute, but I'm not really sure if he will try that. So Grand Monster has set up a huge amount of buildings on this forward base and now he's up braggy. And we will have elephants from Ridu uh, with uh, Spearmen and Axemen. A weird uh, composition but truly effective one against Norse and Grand Monster is, all, is going for a market. I mean uh, he's aiming Mythic that's for sure. Uh, yeah, they updated the logo for the last few matches. Uh, I decided to use the updated logos that Chrono that Chrono uh, shared in uh, our channel. So I hope it's okay for you. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know, no, I have to fix it. The second game won't be like this. I'm deeply sorry. And we'll see. We see a quick Baldur from uh, Grand Monster. I mean. It could be effective, but Rido uh, isn't going any more Axemen. I th I mean, uh, with two town centers, he's up like uh, 40 Vils so far. Could be deadly if uh, Rido doesn't secure his gold mine on this side. And I think he's going for a third town center also. He has a second town center. Here, and uh, he will get it up. And this town center will probably go down, and now we will have the ancestors' eclipse uh, casted. On inside inside the base of Grand Monster, and this will be deadly for him because right now he's eighty percent Baldur, and uh, he's losing his villagers, and also precious hit points from uh, those. He's down three to four villagers, I think, from uh, this raid. He's right now at thirty nine. Rido has a third town center, and uh, right now the Eclipse will prevent. Uh, Grand Monster from uh, casting his uh, Ragnarok and I think that Rido will get this first game. Uh, he has already quarry and uh, those longbows from Grand Monster did anything on this side of the water. Also this town center probably gonna fall with this elephant. And this town center is down, I mean, 8 seconds before he casts uh, the, the Ragnarok God power, but Rido already has set up a good, uh, a good defense, I think, uh, at the 12th minute of the game. Right now, the Ragnarok has been casted, and we'll see... Uh, so, uh, he really had like just from the 55 I think he had like 40 40 to 42 um, villagers uh, thanks for the follow three antos sorry for the resolution this will be fixed in the next game again guys I'm deeply sorry and now we will see that the Ragnarok will uh, will push uh, Rido's army back he has Copper mail and weapons and bronze shields and also this forest fire uh, will get many hit points from those units. I don't think that it will affect this uh, Mictal, I mean, it's too far away. And right now we have the flaming weapons push with the Ragnarok, but uh, Ryu already has a heavy Axeman. Probably will uh, defend this and he has three town centers to Grand Monster zero town centers and I'm not really sure that Grand Monster has 
he doesn't have the resources to come back from this against three town center so this is an all in push um from uh, Grand Monster and uh, so far it's working but Ridu has sneak a gold mine on this side but that probably Grand Monster won't, won't check out uh, uh, probably if those units could go up there but okay this town center will probably go down uh, surely will go down but Ridu has uh, already uh, an army composition of uh, just Axeman and Chariot, but it, it will defend, it will be good to defend against all this. I mean, with a Pharaoh and uh, one or two priests, he will be able to take down this fire giant also. As of now, uh, just just 93 pop from Grand Monster, 136 uh, full pop from Rido. Also, the Town Center is going up. So Grand Monster will try to solidify his position on this side of the map and uh, try to balance the game a little bit. But he's he's behind right, as of right now. This army will push back his Ragnarok. And... Uh, hey, boys. <laughs> So, okay, this Ragnarok here will probably spot this. Uh, Ridu has, as of right now, 271 gold. Okay, this gold mine operation has been spotted from uh, Grand Monster. He's still in the game. I mean, he right now has a town center and a little bit of a trade. That doesn't give him much. I don't know how much he gets from this trade. Five gold? Not not much. Uh, and those Axemen will push back. They're heroes of Ragnarok. Third town center going up from uh, Rido yet again. Yeah, it was like 35 to 38 will rag. If we count the fishing ships. But Rido has cleared up. <laughs> the whole side of the water with two cabinets and just a war badge. So, Grand Monster taps out. First game goes to Ridu. Nice play for Ridu uh, as I saw Anatolia. And yeah, I think that uh, the advance the advance times for Ridu uh, were pretty solid. He didn't get to Mythic, but. He did have, uh, after the Ragnarok, he got so many resources and he also had gold at pretty much the entire series. So we will go to game number two. So I will change um, so I will change uh, everything right now. okay, everything else should be should be fine, should be good. and I will change the scoreboard uh, as redo uh, gets the first win. So from now on, the <laughs> game will be okay. Uh, I hope uh, everything is okay. It works fine. Uh, okay, so Mars uh, is the second... Um, the second uh, uh, game for... Uh, the, the map choice for Grand Monster, I think. Uh, I can check it real quick. Uh, yep. Okay. I will also have the live stream thing. Thank you, Loki. <laughs> 1750. Uh, yeah, I need to all of the what for some reason. Okay. Okay, so we will have Mars for the second game. 
Uh, Ridu had picked Isis for the first game, and Grand Monster went as Thor. <laughs> So I will check the messages after the game, uh, they pretty much quick started the second one so I didn't have time to, to see. So Rido going as Odin on this map uh, and uh, Grand Monster going again, uh, going as Odin also. So we'll have an Odin mirror this map, this is a pretty uh, high hand map and uh, it's a strong map for Odin. Uh, so the Great Hand casted on uh, the starting hand for Grand Monster, also got uh, some pigs. Rido did the same thing, and uh, as of right now, uh, he's going uh, one to gold. So uh, I think that the resolution problem uh, is fixed right now and you can see the entire screen uh, and uh, everything should be fine. Okay, house now going up from Redo. Uh, both players have handy dogs. Uh, let me get the. Okay, it's this one. So it's the first time I cast some uh, Wobbly games, so go with Young Me, please. So, okay, this. this Kill was a little bit further ahead than it should from the town center, and as of right now, uh, Rido also going for dwarfs. One, two dwarfs also from uh, Grand Monster right now. They're both at 13 pop. They have uh, nine village. Okay, as far as Rayleigh go, a pair of Golden, of golden Lions, Pelda Fargus, this would be helpful uh, in doing some raids if they choose to go uh, raiding cavalry. And probably Redu will uh, build his town center in a bit. After this dwarf probably. And uh, Grand Monster uh, first going for the temple. Rido going out for the temple also. Uh, defensive temples, both of them. I mean, uh, they're gold mines. Uh, I'm, uh, Grand Monster's gold mine is a little bit uh, worse than uh, Rido's because Rido can just defend with this, and the wood line is a pretty good defense on this position. And uh, Grand Monster needs probably to wall this up in order for this gold mine to not be harassed early on. Now he starts to scout with the ravens. And 20% uh, uh, from Grand Monster going Freya. Uh, I mean, both players, I think, will go Freya. Yes, they are. So it's a little bit uh, quick for uh, for Grand Monster, Rido will have 15 seconds, I think, uh, to advance after uh, Grand Monster. And I'm curious to see what the strategy will be for both players. I'm not an expert on this matchup, uh, I'm not really sure uh, which is the best route they can go. But uh, no eco upgrades yet, no other eco upgrades. Uh, so Frey is up for uh, for Grand Monster. He's going for two long houses. And uh, 
I'm curious to see whether Rita will go for his next hunt, probably on this hippopotamus, and uh, after on those deer. Uh, thanks for the follow, Atupis. Atupis, I think I pronounced it right. Uh, so, this Valkyrie gets trapped a little bit and uh, loses many hit points from this one. And now the Valkyrie from Rida will try to do some harassment inside uh, Grand Monster's base. Grand Monster nearly lost his uh, Valkyrie. And this Valkyrie also gets a couple of hits. Uh, before it goes away. So Rido knows where the hand from uh, Grand Monster is. Nice wall to prevent any kind of uh, raids. Also the forest fire right now from Rido. On this side uh, will prevent Grand Monster from gathering from uh, this buffalo. And he's going also for two long houses, throwing axemen and raiding cavalry. And Grand Monster is going all sorks. So this whole uh, forest will be burned down and uh, will open this position for raids probably. But right now Grand Monster will go to hunt on the front, I think, probably on those boar. And Ridu picked the relic of Peldo Fargus, so those raiding cavalry will have a decent line of sight. He's also checking the back town center of Grand Monster. So husbandry going for uh, for Grand Monster. I think that he will switch. Uh, to pigs after this, uh, this hunt, but he shouldn't, he should go to this also. Uh, a lo third longhouse going up for uh, Ridu. I'm curious to see what wolf sharks and probably a couple of throwing axemen, he's going also medium infantry and a third longhouse also. So both players are playing uh, identical so far, except the fact that Ridu is going for raiding cavalry and uh, Grand Monster going for for throwing axemen. Uh, going for Ulfsark, sorry, and throwing axemen. And now we'll have a little bit of uh, harassment on this position from uh, Ridu. And uh, those Ulfsarks will go back to defend and uh, Ridu will. Uh, get his units back into safety because right now they don't have the medium upgrade and uh, probably this army loses to this. Thanks for the follow Greek Norse. Welcome to the stream. Hope everything is okay right now. And you can see the game uh, not windowed. <laughs> So, as of right now, uh, I don't see any armory from any player. They are going classical fighting. So, Husbandry is the only co-upgrade besides uh, Hunting Dogs for uh, Grand Monster. And now we have a pretty decent fight, I think, for Grand Monster because this Forest Fire will... Uh, do a little damage to those units and as you can see those throwing axemen are dying to this forest fire and Grand Monster will win this uh, win this fight pretty uh, easily so uh, more units coming from Redo but he has to go back and he does right now so two Valkyries, low HP Valkyries I mean this they should not uh, die because it's 200 uh, food uh, per Valkyrie and they are pretty uh, important on those fights. 
So as of right now, Grand Monster is at uh, 30 wheels. Reader is at 35. Uh, I'm not really sure why. I mean, probably uh, Grand Monster has more dwarfs. At like 11. Just 11, 13, 14. And Rido has nine. I mean, yeah, the, the villager differential is uh, going on to Grand Monster having more dwarves as they take some seconds more to be trained. And he's getting his Valkyries right now out to uh, fight. Pickaxe for uh, Rido. I don't think I, he has also husbandry and hand axe, so his echo right now uh, should seem a little bit better. So you see, Ridu is uh, 30 pop back, and uh, right now, uh, Grand Monster will push. He has a pretty decent army to to make a push and Ridu is doing a counter raid on the gold mine from a Grand Monster taking out some dwarves and uh, a gatherer oh okay he managed to escape and also those uh, villagers don't know where they're going to <laughs> but, uh, but they are not really safe on this position so now Redo and Grand Monster have uh, some counter raids going up. And Redo is doing a big damage, uh, a lot of damage to those uh, dwarves. And the eco from Grand Monster right now is going downhill because he is 16 uh, villagers behind. And I mean, Ridu lost the fight, the big fight that happened on this side, on this spot. But as of right now, if he continues to maintain his advantage, probably he will be okay. But everything I think will be it will be dependent on how this uh, fight will go. And Grand Monster has the better numbers on this fight but also the villagers and the two Valkyries that are coming to help from this side uh, will be crucial to to redo to win probably to make a push to win this fight but also two Valkyries for Grand Monster and uh, the villagers are doing a little bit of a damage but Right now, Ridu has, I think, <laughs> he has 82 pop to Grand Monsters 91. So, Ridu is not so far behind, but he is losing his entire army on this position. And this Valkyrie, uh, I think, will uh, solidify Grand Monsters' position on this side. And Ridu will have to uh, fall back. Right now, uh, he does have still the score lead, and all those villagers are going to this gold mine that will be spotted by the Raven. And uh, Grand Monster is going after the army of uh, Ridu to take it out, probably. Uh, he has pretty decent uh, KD so far. But uh, he's still behind him. Really count. Uh, he has pickaxe, he doesn't have hand axe that Ridu has. So this is just the one difference that they have, eco-wise. But right now Grand Monster is making a push. And also bringing more army, so... So many throwing axemen and... Uh, Probably will mix it up with some wolf sharks. Okay. And he will come uh, over to this gold mine probably. So he knows that both uh, the gold mines for Ridu 
on the opposite sides. Uh, so he will push on this uh, that he has scouted. No uh, armory upgrades for from anyone. So even Valkyrie is queued up for Grand Monster, and this fight, uh, I mean, f Grand Monster has uh, better numbers again on uh, this fight, and this will probably will give him the win, and uh, he will. I think he will tie up the series. So, so yeah, right now. Uh, Reader is 46 pop, down to 46 pop, he's not advancing, he has transitioned to some farms and he is giving up on this uh, play. GG, well played from uh, Grand Monster, a really nice game, uh, Grand Monster had the better uh, KD, he had the better numbers and Reader had the better eco throughout the whole game and more villies, but... I'm not really sure why uh, this happened. So those guys are playing rated instead of math stats. For some reason. Um, and we'll probably go on to game number three a little bit. Uh, let me change the scoreboard and uh, Grand Monster ties up the series one to one. So yeah, it was a safe map I think for uh, Grand Monster. Thanks everyone for being here and uh, I hope uh, you have uh, a good time. Okay, so we will go on to game number three in the best of uh, three series between uh, Grand Monster and Redo. So Redo has gone Isis uh, and Odin so far. And uh, Grand Monster has gone Thor and uh, Odin. So the third map will be uh, Blue Lagoon. And let me check the chat really quick. Nice is winning totally unexpected. <laughs> yeah, thank you camera for your uh, kind words, thank you. So let me check, the uh, third map is Blue Lagoon, okay, and a big, a big shout out to Loki7050 for helping me uh, setting up everything and uh, my stream and uh, <coughs> being a part of uh, Wobbly Chabby Link uh, that I wanted so much. So we have a game number three right now, uh, the best of three series, final game, uh, Blue Lagoon, Eridu going Hades and the Grand Monster going Odin. So I'm expecting um, Grand Monster to go for some Raiding Cavalry and Eridu to go a second Town Center probably. Uh, by the time he advances at 4.30. It's also a pretty decent hunt. This map, also the Great Hunt, will give him two pigs and uh, two more giraffe. I think this is as much as he could get uh, on this particular situation. 
and I hope it's, everything is wrong, okay? It is. So both players will have from two rhinos, more giraffe and gazelle, okay, some more gazelle and elephant, so pretty decent hunt uh, for, uh, for Blue Lagoon, as you would expect. So Ridu going for a standard 5 on food, 3 on wood. Probably we will see 2 on gold. Okay, now he's going to gold. So it is a standard 430. He has a pretty ex pretty exposed gold mine. And Red Monster has... Okay, both the gold mines are exposed, but... I think this is more more defendable than the one that Ridu has. Also, uh, Grand Monster could try to go for a four minute advance and try to push uh, Ridu off hunt and uh, then make a push for this gold mine by destroying this tower. So, uh, pretty standard um, build orders from both players, and uh, I see right now that uh, Ridu is going for the forward hunt, and Grand Monster is going. I think we will see some. Uh, some Anigar shenanigans from this position. Probably he will go Heimdall. I mean, this is just outside the line of sight, I think. I don't see how this tower will see this temple. It should be outside of the line of sight. And, uh, okay, he will go Freya. Okay, he's going Freya, though. Okay, so 406 advance for, uh, for Grand Monster Redo doesn't have the temple up yet and this will be scouted from Grand Monster so he will have even time to build some forward base on this side maybe a long house or so Rido will try to secure this position so with a wall uh, on those sides he will be okay to start and he's going Ares Okay, so he saw the raven. I don't know if he saw the temple though. I don't think that he saw. He will probably check it out with those pigs. That's kind of absurd. And he's going Ares. So this Ras um, probably will be uh, go down from uh, the pestilence. So both of those buildings will not be able to train units. So Grand Monster is building also on this side, probably uh, would think that uh, Rido will go for some Ares again against. And he's absolutely right on this position. Uh, so Here's the Ares, and the Chiron will be um, trained immediately from the town center. So, one archer range, one military academy. Uh, pretty standard. So, we don't see any pestilence. I don't know if he thinks that this is the forward base and he hasn't seen this already. But I don't think that he has saw this. So, even now, I don't know, I don't think that he has uh, scouted that. Okay, so right now, uh, Rido has the resources to train some units. Uh, and Grand Monster going for uh, pure raiding cavalry uh, with uh, some horses to help 
uh, build those longhouses. Also picking up uh, the Pandora's box. That makes the units, uh, mid unit strength faster. He has boost Rido off hand and Rido is back to the pigs. And he's now going also to the berries. And okay, this push will probably uh, succeed on this long longhouse, but Grand Monster has solidified his position, and uh, I don't see how Grand uh, how Redo uh, would uh, scout this. So this longhouse will go down. Uh, as soon as of now. Okay, Rido is making even uh, some Hippicons in the mix. So he will have to either... So now he spots uh, those buildings and now he will have to decide if he will use the Pestilence or not, but I think this army should be enough to push uh, back those uh, Raiding Cavalry. Also, Grand Monster going for the Raids uh, on this position. And uh, probably he will get a couple of picks. Okay, never mind. So, many low HP villies. That should be protected. And uh, Ridu has managed to uh, gain some map control outside of his base by destroying this longhouse. This uh, temple is uh, of no use right now to, re uh, to Grand Monster because he doesn't make any uh, Valkyries or Herses. So as far from eco upgrades, only a hunting dogs and husbandry from uh, Grand Monster, and Redu has only hunting dogs. So now uh, Grand Monster would try to surround the army of Redu and uh, try to win this game, but <laughs> the villagers are coming from uh, the base of Redu to help uh, on this fight. And uh, Rido is making a push uh, to try to make Grand Monster get his units back. But I'm not really sure um, if uh, Grand Monster can win this. He's going a little bit back. But <laughs> Rido will solidify in this position. He will get this hunt after all. This Cyclops is doing so much damage to those units. He uh, Grand Monster doesn't have any horses to uh, kill those Cyclops, and probably redo what he needs to do is to make another Cyclops. He's doing so much damage just from uh, throwing away units. So Reed is down to 75 pop with 33 villagers and uh, Grand Monster is 34 villagers, 65 pop. And he also has more resources and more numbers. No armory upgrades for uh, any player as we would expect at the 9 minute mark with uh, all those fights going on. So Grand Monster will try to raid uh, some more villages. This villager one hit, this village is eight hit, eight hit points. So it'll be easy uh, to take them down. But he's getting a couple of picks and he's running away. So uh, now we have the medium uh, raiding cavalry. For a grand monster, he also has uh, this gold mine. Rido is gathering from this elephant that he will it will give him so much food, and probably he will be okay. 
uh, to mass an army. He's not making any Cyclops as of now. And this raiding cavalry already pick off two villagers, uh, dropping the number to 36, 35. So a pretty decent raid. And now he lost just one uh, raiding cavalry for the price of three uh, villagers. And right now Rido is making a push uh, on uh, Grand Monster's base. He is casting Pestilence, so... Okay, he got nearly every building. Just one longhouse that's making uh, some raiding cavalry uh, is really training uh, anything right now. So five buildings not being able to train anything, and this is huge because this Valkyrie could do uh, a little bit of a difference on this fight. Uh, this Cyclops isn't down yet. So now he goes down. He got so much value from this Cyclops uh, early on and even now. So Pestilence uh, has ended and uh, Grand Monster continues to build longhouses. So Rido will try to uh, just destroy those buildings I think. Uh, Grand Monster doesn't have the hood to to rebuild every single one of those and he needs to uh, probably fight this this position in order not to lose the game and Rido is making a push but the army will surround uh, the archers from Rido and this will uh, result in uh, Rido going back I think or lose his entire army on this particular mother. As of uh, Grand Monster has way more numbers. He has like 20 units to reduce fire right now. And he's also continues to make even more uh, Valkyries out of the temple. So right now Ridu has transitioned to some farms. Uh, he doesn't have uh, Plow or Husbandry, he has Pickaxe and Handaxe. And if those villages get spotted on this uh, gold mine, I think the game will be over. And the Grand Monster is definitely going for this gold mine. He checks it and Reed right now is in a pretty bad spot because he has 15 idle villagers that most of them, he will lose them. Okay, this is a nice raid. He's now gold blocked and he even has a little bit of a walking time to go all those villages back to other woodlines or so. He is also losing uh, all his army to destroying axemen and raiding cavalry and he's down to 65 pop to Grand Monster's 114 pop. Uh, I think that Grand Monster got this. I mean, he's in a pretty decent spot right now. Ridu will try to go for the other gold mine. It's up on this uh, side of the map. It is spotted by the raven. Those ravens uh, are doing so much work. And Ridu resigns. Uh, GG's well played from uh, Grand Monster getting the win. 2-1 to one against Ridu. And... You see that Grand Monster has uh, way more military units, except at the time that uh, Ridu did the Pestilence. He had way more resources the entire game, and that's not what you want uh, for your opponent as uh, Greek, because you're being left so much behind. And Grand Monster will get the win on this map. And uh, he gets the win of the series 2-1. to one. So... Yeah, he had, he had food for another Cyclops, but he didn't make it. So there's a 3 minute delay. 
everything uh i don't uh i don't know uh hey side what's up another stream tonight um i don't know uh right after this uh this game, I think, when Monster will play with Nyan. Also, Nyan's in the chat. Hey, Nyan, what's up? Uh, sent you a message about uh, your games against Grand Monster. If you want me to to cast them in about an hour or so, uh, so. So yeah, uh, Grand Monster gets the win, two to one. Uh, let me know if uh, everything was uh, okay on the stream. Uh, I will uh, try to make it even more um, green for you, make it better. Uh, first time that I'm doing a uh, Champions League, and uh, I will try to make more streams for you guys, and also. Have some RDSL going on. I'm talking with Black Adder. Hopefully, uh, I can cast some of those even from the uh, the RTSL uh, channel. So, I will talk to um, Grand Monster and uh, and Nyan to see if it will be okay to stream. Uh, little games in about an hour or so and probably I will see you guys uh, even tomorrow um, with some games I will probably try to cut some of the games for tomorrow and yeah uh, see you guys in uh, in about one hour or so, if I will be able to cast um, uh, Nyan against Grand Monster. So I will send you over to Ulysses right now. So uh, for now, thanks guys for watching. It was a pleasure to be here. And uh, I will see you uh, as soon as I can. So. Stay awesome guys, thank you very much for the support.